Hi, and welcome again to Arsenal Republic TV, the channel for Arsenal fans all over the world. So what I thought I would do today is a, a World Cup special. I've got to apologise, I was supposed to do it last week, but I've had a lot of work to do. I don't only do like um, YouTuber videos, I have like a full-time job. Um, but anyway, let's get cracking. So I'm going to feature two teams today, two teams tomorrow and two teams on the following day. So let me go through the, um, the groups. So in Group A, we have Russia, Saudi Arabia, Egypt and Uruguay. Group B, we have uh, Portugal, Spain, Morocco and Iran. Uh, in Group C, we have France, Australia, Peru and Denmark. Group D, we have Argentina, Iceland, Croatia and Nigeria. Group E, we have Brazil, Switzerland, Costa Rica and Serbia. Group F, we have Germany, Mexico, Sweden, South Korea. Group G, we have Belgium, Panama, Tunisia and England. Group H, we have Poland, Senegal, Colombia and Japan. So these are all the groups out of the way, so you know uh, where your team is, or maybe if they're not featured, I'm very, very sorry, but um, that's just the way it is. So my favourites, or oh, my favourites, but the teams who I think are going to feature quite well um, in this year's World Cup are Germany, Brazil, France, Argentina, Spain, England, and an honorary mention to Colombia. As you can see, I've got the, the shirts home, away, um, but yeah, anyway. So let's get cracking. So let's talk about um, Germany. So Germany are four time winners and the current holders. And if I had to um, describe Germany in three words, I would say functional, organized and winners. Now Joachim Löw, he's been um, the German manager for I think like eight years. I think maybe a little bit more than that. Um, the players are well drilled, well organized. Now, I know they've lost their last two matches. However, I think they've just been building up just at the right time. It's all about timing. It's not like, you know, winning, you know, your, your, your last five matches and then come, you know, the, um, the group stages, you're failing, you're losing. And in the end, you get, dis um, you get eliminated. But I think... With Joachim Loeb's um, team, you know, I think that they're going to come good at the right time. Um, we know Manuel Neuer. For me, he is the number one goalkeeper in the world. They've got Thomas Muller, Marco Ruiz, um, Ozil, Tony Cruz, but no Sane. No Leroy Sane. Um, there has been speculation that he was supposed to go to the Confederations Cup. And instead of going, you know, there, he decided to have uh, a nose job. Now, I'm not sure how true that is, but um, yeah. But anyway, either way, he's not featured in this year's World Cup, which is a big surprise for me because he's had a fantastic season with Man City. I think he scored um, 16, 17 goals. So, you know, phenomenal. Um, I can't see any team, any team to get past the Germans. For me, they are they are my favourites. Their first match is going to be um, this coming Sunday um, against uh, Mexico, and um, yeah, I think they they're going to do the business again. Um, I reckon in two tournaments in a row, you know, and we saw how they smashed uh, Brazil in the, in the finals in Brazil. But um, yeah, Germany are my my out and out favourites. Okay, so let's get on to um, Brazil. Yeah, Brazil. And they've won um, the World Cup five times. And again, I did, as I just mentioned, they got quite beaten in, in their own country, you know, um, against Germany. And three words to sub um, subscribe to um, describe um, br the Brazil team. Flair, flamboyant, but second favourites. I can't see them. I can't see them doing it. Um, this year in, in, in Russia. When I look at the team, even though, you know, they've got a Neymar, I still think they rely on him too much. 
Um, yeah, they've got Philip um, uh, Coutinho, William, Thiago Silva, Fernandinho, Gabriel Jesus, Fred. But when I look at the team, they're, they're, they're not quite there yet. They're not quite yet, you know. And if you go on the last three matches, yeah, they won the last three matches. Um, I think they, they beat um, Croatia, uh, Austria, and what was the other team? Can't remember what was the other team, but yeah, they they've they've won their last three matches. But I just I can't see them stringing enough to get you know to the final. I can't see them in the final. Um, nah, nah. I mean, their 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 manager is um, Tite. He's done quite well. He's kept them together. Uh, you know, there's lots of um, characters in that team, but I can't see them. I can't see them literally. You know winning um, this year's uh, World Cup. Yeah, you know, they've got a star man in Neymar, but yeah, they're just, just a little bit too short for me. You know, I, I think um, they might make it to the semi-finals, but um, to say that they're going to win the finals, to make it a record six wins, I can't I can't see that happening. But you know what, that's my um, quick review for the first two um, uh, teams. Uh, please tune in tomorrow, where, like I said, I'm, gonna, I'm going to feature France, and uh, Argentina. Until then, this has been Arsenal Republic TV.